Now, in terms of food and fiber service solutions, we've looked at a number of examples of those around different ways of creating food and so forth, but they're often really good problem solving um, instances where service solutions would be useful. So let's say they're about to go on an excursion and they need to ensure that their food is taken with them and how they can make sure that say that it stays cold or is delivered where they need to or doesn't get squished. These are things that they might come up with service solutions to, or they might come up with products or environments. Um, but there are lots of opportunities to explore these. So a really common activity is looking at feeding a large number of um, children. So let's say it's the, the school fate and they're going to make items that they can sell at the fate. So they have to make a lot of these items. Now, generally that will involve some sort of production line where say if they're making um, fairy bread, one person may cut the crust off the bread, another person may then um, butter the bread, then the next person sprinkles the, um, the candies onto the bread, and then the fourth person may package them up, and then the fifth person may put a, a price label on it, and so forth. So they can work out an efficient, effective process, a service that will um, maximize the speed at which they can produce lots and lots of these sandwiches. So as an example, but again, students will be learning about the processes and production skills, investigating and defining, generating and designing, producing and implementing, evaluating, and collaborating and managing. So think about these in terms of the concept of a service and go through and look at the examples and see which of those relate to products, which relate to services, and which relate to environments.